Hello. Thank you very much for taking the time to view this Trees and Reach training for the Troop Volunteers. My name is Anne Nunhaku. I'm the Director of Retail and Product Sales, and I'm here with Lisa Deschnow, one of our Product Sale Managers. Hi, everyone. For those of you who have participated in any of our product sale programs in the past, you know we always have a theme and a mascot. And this year's mascot is the Emperor Penguin. Our theme for this program is Rise Up. Because we know that when girls participate in the Treats and Reach program, they have the opportunity to rise up to meet their personal goals that they have set. So in order for girls to rise up, they're going to need a little bit of guidance. And that comes from you, their Troop Treats and Reads Manager. So I just want to take this moment to thank you very much for taking on this role for, for your troop. We know that the Treats and Reads program is successful because of you. And we are really thankful for our partnership in this program. We really appreciate you rising up to take on this role. And remember, you're providing girls with a life-changing experience by giving them the opportunity to learn and practice important life skills that will help them make a difference in the com their communities and beyond. Thanks, Anne. Now we're gonna talk about how you can help the girls in your troop succeed in the Treats and Reads program. First up, it's important for the girls and families to understand why they're participating. Make sure they know that through the, the program, girls are learning important skills that will last a lifetime, as well as raising funds for both their troop and for council, as all proceeds stay within Girl Scouts of Connecticut. During a troop meeting, you should assist girls in setting goals. Talk about what the girls would like to do with the proceeds they earn. Is there a trip or community service project they'd like to do? Discuss what the troop would need to sell in order to cover the costs. Distribute the girl materials to the parents and be a resource throughout the program if they have any questions. At the end of the program, you'll need to collect the money the parents collected. You'll also need to enter in the Treats and Reads website the in-person orders and reward choices for girls if the parent did not do so themselves. And lastly, once the product and rewards come in, you'll need to reach out to parents and instruct them how it can be picked up. Now that we've talked about your important role in the Treats and Reads program, we're going to go into a little more details. Uh, in this training, we are going to be discussing what is the Treats and Reads program, how to participate, the Treats and Reads website, as well as the rewards and finances of the program. At the end, we'll talk about the next steps after you take this training. So what is the Treats and Reads program? Well, it's an integral part of the Girl Scout leadership experience with financial literacy at its core. Girls who participate in the program not only earn money for their troop treasuries, but also learn skills that help them be the leaders in their own lives, in business, and in their community. So during the, the program, girls can participate by reaching out to friends and family for their support by making a purchase of nuts and candies, magazines, and care to share nuts to be donated. Here are some important dates. The program begins on September 24th. In-person order taking ends on October 31st. Parents also have until October 31st to enter any paper order card orders they received onto the Treats and Reads website. After which, the troop volunteers can go into the website and enter in these orders if parents did not do so. The last day for all online orders is November 7th, and the nuts and candy deliveries take place between December 1st and December 4th. These will be going to the service unit, Treats and Reads Manager. To get started, you'll need to pick up some materials from your service unit treats and reads manager. They'll either bring them to a service unit leader meeting or send an email out instructing you the best way to pick up these materials. Each troop will receive one treats and reads troop guide in one large envelope. They'll also receive a nut and candy order card, money envelope, and a girl family flyer, one per girl. I'll now hand it back over to Ann, who'll discuss how to participate in the program. Thanks, Lisa. So let's talk about the ways that girls can participate and reach out to their customers. They can go onto the M2 platform and create an online storefront that they can then share for their customers via email, social media, or text. Customers will make a purchase using a debit or a credit card and can choose whether they want the girl to deliver the nut and candy to them directly or if they're gonna pay for shipping. There's also over 600 magazine offering rings that customers can choose from. Girls can also reach out to customers in person. 
the girls who bring their paper order card to the customers and ask them to support them by purchasing delicious nuts and candies. The girls in the family will collect the payment at the time the order is placed and then give the money to you, the troop treats and reads manager. Girls can be creative in how they reach out to people in person. They might want to do a Zoom call and make make the sales pitch. They might want to put out on so- social media that they're participating in the Treats and Reads program and, and ask their family and friends if they would like to make a purchase. They can also phone or text or email people. And of course, they're going to see people in person. So that's a great time to make sure they have the order card with them and take some orders. Of course, the most important thing when girls are participating in either of the product sale programs is safety. As a troop Treats and Reads manager, you're going to want to make sure you go to our council website and check all of the safety activity checkpoints regarding the Treats and Reads program. Also, on the website at gsofct.org is where you'll find our latest guidance regarding COVID-19. Remember that all girls must be registered and have a signed annual consent form on file with the troop leader. And you, as a Treats and Reads volunteer, also need to be registered for this membership year and be an approved volunteer. And make sure that that volunteer role is noted in our membership record so that we can make sure we're able to contact with you. When it comes to social media, Remind girls that if they're 13 or older, they can use their own social media accounts. But girls who are 12 and younger need to use a social media account of their parent and guardian. Thanks, Anne. Now that we know how girls can participate and how to do it safely, let's talk a little bit about the products. On the 2021 order card, there's a delicious selection of items available for both in-person order taking and online girl delivery. We have a vintage Girl Scout tin, the third in the series. We also have three new products, which is the sweet and salty mix, the nut and seed blend that comes in a value jar, and the chocolate covered pretzels in a holiday tin. These make great gifts. Um, And we also have the Care to Share program, which we're gonna be talking about in a little while. Customers also have the ability to purchase items online and have the Girl Scout delivered directly to them. When the customer places these orders, they pay online, but there's no fee for shipping. It is the same products as the in-person order card, and all these orders will flow directly into the Treats and Reads website under the girl's record. The Girl Scout will receive these products the same time she receives all the nuts and candy from her in-person order card. And since the payment was made online by the customer, there's no need for the troop or family to collect the money for these orders. Customers can also purchase nut and candy products online and have them shipped directly to them. The customer has an expanded product lineup to choose from when purchasing for direct ship. To see the full lineup, you could go to gsfct.org slash treats and reads. If the customer does decide to pay for shipping, they'll have the opportunity to choose either from standard shipping or two-day shipping. Here's the online shipping chart. Thanks, Lisa. Those nut and candies certainly look delicious, but the reads portion is my favorite part of the Treats and Reads program. I look forward to renewing my magazine subscriptions every year, and with over more than 600 magazines to choose from, I know I'll always find a new one to add to my list. In addition to the paper format for the magazines, there's also digital titles and also books, so there's sure to be something for everyone. So not only can customers purchase delicious nuts and candies and interesting magazine subscriptions, but they can also make a donation to our Care to Share program. With this program, our customers can purchase delicious honey roasted peanuts that are donated to the Connecticut Food Bank and Food Share and to the American Red Cross Connecticut chapter. For each $6 donation, we'll make sure that we deliver a can of nuts to these organizations. Next up, I'm going to give a brief overview of the Treats and Reads website. The registration opens up on 920 for volunteers and 924 for girls, families, and customers. However, you do not need to wait for that registration email. You could register directly at gsnutsandmags.com slash gsfct. Girls log in as a first-time user participant or a returning user from last year. Spanish language experience is also available. 
When girls log into the system, they'll be able to design their very own virtual likeness, choosing from over 3 billion avatar feature combinations. They also are able to upload a photo or video to share on her storefront. There are many things that the girls and parents can do from the girls online headquarters, including sharing her online storefront via email, social media, or text. There's also business cards pre-populated with the girl online store code if she'd like to use them. This is where the girl and the parent would enter the paper order card orders, where they would be able to select what rewards have been earned, as well as print out door hangers with a QR code and the girl's personal storefront code. Parents are also have the ability to look at reports, and girls can check out the avatar room with the troop photo that will show the other girls in her troop's avatar from the girls' headquarters, they'll be able to promote her online storefront. Email is by far the most popular option for girls and parents. There, they'll be able to add their email contacts and decide who they would like to give the option for girl delivery. Girl delivery might be great for your friends and family that live locally, but maybe not so for your grandparents in Florida. You would also be able to share your online storefront via text this year when using your, your smartphone. Once a customer receives an email, they'll be able to click on the link to shop for either magazines and or nuts and candy. They can also listen to a special message recorded by their favorite Girl Scout. If a customer indicates that they'd like to purchase nuts and candies, they'll have the option to either choose Girl Delivery or Direct Ship. Customers pay for all products online at the time of checkout. All in-person nut and candy order card orders must be entered into a girl's record on the Treats and Reads website. Parents have the ability to do so themselves until October 31st, no later than 11.59 p.m. Parents have the ability to look at the reports in the Treats and Reads website. They'll be able to view all girl delivery items sold online by the customer and see which ones need to be delivered. This report will also be emailed directly to the parent at the end of the program. Next, we're going to talk about the tools troops have on the Treats and Reads website. Prior to the start of the Treats and Reads program, volunteers will receive an email to register on the website. What you're going to do is click on the link embedded in this email to set up a password. After you've created login credentials, you'll be able to log in directly on the website. The first time a troop volunteer logs into the Treats and Reads website, they'll be asked to watch the troop training video. This will help you navigate the site. You'll also be able to create a volunteer avatar that looks just like you. You can email parents from the website, and you're going to have to enter the Girl Nut and Candy order cards uh, if parents didn't do so, as well as the reward choices the girls made. You'll also be able to view any reports that you might find helpful. From the Treats and Reads website, Troops volunteers are able to launch an email directly to parents with links and instructions on how to participate in the program. The email addresses are uploaded by council. However, if, if a volunteer sees that there's emails that are incorrect or missing, they can also go in and edit it before sending these emails out. Troop volunteers have the ability to look at the financial information for their troop in the Treats and Reads website. There you'll be able to see the sales summary, the gross sales, the total paid online by customers, the total proceeds the troop earned, the balance to council, and the troop volunteer has the ability to enter any payments the parents made directly to the troop. However, this is not required, but it is a useful tool. Volunteers can print out delivery tickets for when they are sorting products or rewards. It'll make packing simple and straightforward. Now Anne's going to talk about all the fun things girls and troops can earn in the Treats and Reads program. The girls can earn fun rewards for their total sales through the program. All of the rewards are pictured on the back of the paper nut and order card. They also can be found at gsubct.org. At many levels, there's choices, and the girls can indicate which choice they would like on their online dashboard, or they can tell you, and you'll be able to make the selection for them in the program. So whether the girls are looking for a plush, a fun wearable, or an arts and crafts activity, there's sure to be something in the rewards that they're going to want to work 
One of the unique things in the Treats and Reads program is the girl's personalized avatar. And the great news is that she can have her avatar on a special patch. For any girls who go online and create the avatar, send 18 or more emails through the storefront and have a total of $275 sold through the program, they will earn this special personalized patch. The girls can pick whichever background they, they want. They can put a name or a nickname on it. Girls really like these personalized patches. But don't worry, we didn't forget about you. We know that you like personalized patches as well. So for any troops that have $800 in total sales, two volunteers in your troop will have the ability to earn their own personalized patch. Be sure to create your avatar, not only for the patch, but because girls will love to go onto the website and see your avatar. As you probably know, the Treats and Reads program is one of two product programs that troops can participate in, the other one being the Cookie program. So we looked for a way to connect these two programs. And to do that, we have the Cookie Crossover Patch. In order for girls to earn this unique patch, they have to create the avatar during the Treats and Reads program, send 18 or more emails, and then sell at least 150 packages of cookies during the 2021-22 cookie program, not including election week sales. This is another great ploy for girls to have their personalized avatar on a patch that they can proudly wear on their sash and vest. We heard from girls that they like to have the option to give back. So, at the $325 level, girls can have the choice of selecting the reward or donating the amount of that reward to the Global Penguin Society. Girls who choose to make the donation will earn this cool, unique patch. Last year, girls had some global impact when their donations helped create a sloth crossing bridge and planted over 200 trees to help preserve their habitat. Thanks, Anne. Now I'm going to talk about the financial information in regards to the Treats and Reads program. Troops will earn 15% of the total sales. Juniors and above can vote to opt out of rewards and earn 17% of the sales. It's important that all girls vote whether or not they would like to opt out of rewards. Majority rules. Troops have the ability to earn an additional two cents per package of cookies sold in the cookie program. If in the Treats and Reads program, they have at least two girls with sales and achieve $130 per girl selling average in the Treats and Reads program and 140 package per girl selling average in the 2021-2022 cookie program, not including election week cookie sales. Troops have an opportunity to earn $10 to a Girl Scout shop if they use the parent guardian email blast no later than October 18th and have at least two girls registered on the Treats and Reads website no later than October 18th as well. Now let's go over the payment of products. Online orders are paid with a credit or debit card at the time of purchase. Girls and families and the troop volunteers will not handle any funds for these sales. In-person orders on the order card are played when the order is placed. Girls and families will collect payment for these sales and give the payment to the Troop Treats and Reads manager. It's important to know that all funds in person for the in-person order cards must be deposited into the Troop's bank account in time for the electronic payment to be initiated on November 15th. Girl Scouts of Connecticut will initiate the amount due to council or if the troop is owed proceeds because they had a majority of online sales on November 15th, 2021. This will be done via an electronic payment, otherwise known as ACH. In order for Girl Scouts to initiate the payment, one signer on the troop account will need to submit an ACH authorization form no later than October 22nd. The link to this form can be found on the Treats and Reads page at gsfct.org. Troops with only online sales also need to fill out this form in order to receive their proceeds from Council. The Treats and Reads volunteer can see the amount due to Council or what is owed to the troop on the troop dashboard and should communicate that information to the troop leader or the troop treasurer. Troops do not need to record payments to Council on the Treats and Reads website as this is something Council will upload into the system.
We will have resources available to assist you in your Treats and Reads program. They include electronic versions of the program guide and family flyer, Treats and Reads website instructions, as well as short video tutorials. We also have a fall product activity guide that you could use with your troop at your meetings to get the girls engaged in the program and learn all about our mascot, the Emperor Penguin. We'll also have tips for participating safely. And new this year, we'll have Treats and Reads volunteer chats, which will be a great time for especially new volunteers to contact us and ask any questions that you may have. Be sure to check out gsct.org slash treats and reads for all these and more resources. New this year, we're going to be having a treats and reads virtual rally. It'll be a fun and engaging way for girls to learn all about the Treats and Reads program. Check out GSCT and the Top Tips for Treats and Reads volunteer email for additional rally information. So we've gone over a lot of information and you might be wondering what's next. Well, you're going to want to make sure that you've picked up the materials from your service unit Treats and Reads manager. If not, be sure to reach out. Once you have the materials, make sure that you distribute the family flyer, the money envelope, and the order card to each girl, and make sure that you've done some training with the girls and parents. Beginning on September 20th, log into the Treats and Reads website, watch the training video, and be sure to create your avatar. And then, go ahead and use the Parent Guardian email blast to let your troop families know about the Treats and Reads program. Be sure to communicate with your Girl Scouts and their families throughout the program. They might have questions, and you will be able to help them along the way. If you have any questions now or at any time throughout the program, there are a lot of people that are ready to help you. You can reach out to the M2 Customer Care, who can help you with a wide range of questions, or reach a member of the product sales team by reaching out to customercare at gsofct.org. Remember, we're here to help you. As we said in the beginning of this training, thank you so much for helping your troop. And thanks for completing the training. Have a great day.